Number 13. The cholera bacterium produces toxins that cause chloride ions to be secreted into the small intestine. What is the immediate effect of this on the water potential of blood in the intestinal capillaries? And on the water potential of the contents of the small intestine. Okay, in order to explain this, let's talk about what happens to the small intestine when there's a bacterium called Vibrio cholerae. So the bacteria that causes cholera is called Vibrio cholerae. Of course, for IGCSC, you don't have to know the name of this bacterium. Um, so, however, this bacterium produces toxin, okay? When there's presence of bacterium called Vibrio uh, cholerae, it produces toxins. And these toxins uh, causes or oh, these talk to these toxins cause the chloride ions chloride ions to go into uh, the lumen of the small intestine so lumen means space so the chloride ions goes into the lumen which will decrease which decreases the water potential of the small intestine. So this question was asking the immediate effect on, of this. So since there are a lot of chloride ions, chloride ions in this lumen, relatively, the water potential in the lumen has decreased. Hence, relatively, the capillaries in the small intestine has higher water potential than inside the lumen. So this is the immediate effect of these toxins. So water potential in blood in capillaries becomes raised and the contents so the water potential of the contents of small intestine gets lowered. Hence, the answer is C.